All right, so many times it's difficult to tell when you have a positive or a negative Doppler shift. So today, we're just going to talk about positive and de negative Doppler shift uh, based on your transducer's orientation. So today, we're going to pretend we're looking at the carotid artery. So we're looking at the carotid artery. And I'm just going to kind of draw a box here. So I'm going to try to draw the box. All right, so I have this box going this way. I have the blood vessel going this way. The box is stared this way. It's stared over this way, okay? You can see where the tip of this box is. The box is stared this way. When you see the box stared this way, that means this is where the transducer is. This is um, the location of the transducer. This is the carotid artery. This is the brain, okay? This is the brain, okay? So how can you tell if this is a positive or a negative Doppler shift? Now, again, you want to know that you are standing right here, okay? The, tra uh, the box is stared this way because, again, you're standing right here. Box is stared this way. Carotid artery blood flow is going towards the brain because this is the brain. Now, in this case, what you want to understand is the box is going the same direction as the carotid artery. So blood flow is going this way. The box is also stared this way. So this is a negative Doppler shift because you're going the same direction. Now, we already know in vascular imaging, chances are your carotid artery is going to be all red. So this is red. Because it is a negative Doppler shift, you're going to see the red in the bottom. This is your red in the bottom. And then you would have your blue up top. All right. So in this case, you want to think of the fact that, again, the carotid artery is going this way. This is the flow of your carotid artery. Your jugular vein, however, is going this way because it's going back to the heart, right? This is your jugular vein. So think about it. Your box is stirred this way, okay? This is the stir of your box. Your jugular flow is going this way. So that's why your jugular vein is blue, is up top, which is a positive Doppler shift. And your carotid artery in the bottom is a negative Doppler shift, okay? So that's one example. Now, let me draw another box. Let's pretend we're going to say this box now is going this way. Okay, again, excuse my drawing, okay, but the box is going this way. The box is stared this way. Box is stared this way. We're still looking at the carotid artery. This is your carotid artery. And again, the brain, don't forget, is this way because your carotid artery is going to feed the brain. This is the direction of flow, okay? So blood flow is going this way. Carotid artery, box is stared this way. That is a positive Doppler shift. That would say, think of it as a head-on collision. Meaning, again, your blood flow is going towards the brain this way, and your box is stared this way. So you see they're going to kind of head on, okay? So in this case, you're going to have your red up. Your red is going to be positive Doppler shift. And then in this case, your jugular vein will be a negative Doppler shift. So again, blood flow to the brain, carotid artery is going this way. My box is stared this way. They are going to collide head on, as you can see. Now, let's look at the jugular vein. This is your jugular vein. I'm just going to kind of draw that down here. This is your jugular vein. Jugular vein, again, is going to the heart this way, right? This way. So jugular vein is going this way. It's going the same direction as your color box. That's why it's blue and it's in the bottom. Okay? Now, let's draw a bigger picture. Let's let that make sense one more time. I'm just going to draw this again. I'm going to draw it nice and big so you can see it here. All right. We're looking at our carotid artery. I'm going to draw the carotid artery one more time. This is our brain. This is the head, right? Blood flow is going to feed the brain. Carotid artery flows this way to feed the brain, okay? Jugular vein, I'm going to draw that here in blue. This is the jugular vein here. I'm just going to draw it somewhere here. That's our jugular vein. Is going Flow is going this way back to the heart, okay? So let's look at this. Look at the box. This is our box. It's staring this way, same way as the jugular vein, opposite flow of the carotid artery. So let's think of what I told you about uh, earlier. Blood flow is going towards the brain. In this case, box is stared this way. There is a head-on collision, right? Positive Doppler shift. Your carotid artery, when you look at your box here, carotid artery would be up top, red. And your jugular vein would be in the bottom, blue, Okay. So this is how you can tell if you have a positive Doppler shift or a negative Doppler shift. This also applies for the lower extremities as well when you're uh, doing um, lower extremity imaging, so on and so forth. You want to look at the direction of your box and you want to compare it to the direction of flow. Is it going towards or away from the transducer? Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps you in identifying positive or negative Doppler shift. Also, I have Vascular Technology Made Simple. It's available on Amazon. 
also on divinescanning.com. Also, I have um, just a small physics book. This is only available on divinescanning.com. And this kind of pretty much provides the formulas for uh, physics and just key things you need to know when doing uh, ultrasound physics. Thank you so much and hope this helps you.